Welcome back again, everybody. Another week of Taurus Tech Talk here at the SG Taurus Company. Once again, we are on location at our Mansfield branch, 600 West Street in Mansfield, Mass. And once again, we're joined by Mark Gunther. Mark, thank you for the knowledge you've already given us, but thank you for coming on again. We're looking forward to another Tech Talk. Uh, no problem. I'm glad you had me. So today we're going to be going through setting up an S9 V2 furnace for Train and American Standard. Uh, after you've done your install and you're ready to set it up, first thing you want to do is to turn on all your power and make sure that the furnace is not being called. You want to be in an idle status. By that I mean make sure your thermostat is either off or set down low. And if you look at your control board, it should state IDL, meaning on the status menu, meaning it's in idle. To change any of the faults, the call has to be neutral and that by being in idle. So you want to make sure the fan delay is off and everything else before you get started. And what you want to do is press the menu button and then if you needed to pick an option, you would press the option button second. So let's just get into how you set up the uh, menu options. So you press the menu button. The first one will be errors, active errors. You know, it's a brand new system, so you're not gonna have any errors. You press menu again, you'll get last six fault. Okay, you can skip that also. And then it will say control release. And it's usually, at this point, I think they're up to number 20. And that's just telling you you've got the latest software in your uh, furnace. The next one, COD, is cooling off delay. And it gives you a bunch of options. Zero, 90, 180, or enhanced mode, which is a mode that allows the furnace to ramp up and down according to a program that's built in. And you can check the installation manual that will show you exactly how the uh, enhanced mode works. So what you do is you press the menu button and you get the cooling off delay and then you select the one that you would ideally want for your system. The default is 90 seconds, but you can change it to zero if you didn't want a delay, or 180, or the enhanced mode. Would you suggest having the enhanced mode on, or would you suggest staying with the default? I myself like the 90 second delay on it. It's just a continuation of the same airspeed, so therefore nobody notices the change. The enhanced mode jumps between speeds a little bit, so if you're upstairs in the house and the, and the unit's working, you'll notice that you hear uh, fluctuations in the fan noise and everything else. So. so if you hit menu again, you'll come to outdoor tonnage, and this is where you set your furnace and your cooling to the exact airflow. The options are would be two tons, two and a half, three ton, and three and a half ton. And that'll change according to the size of your furnace. On a two ton system, we'd scroll the options twice and then hit menu again, and that would accept the two ton system to your furnace. And then when you're all set, you press menu again, you'll get outdoor unit type. And by that, they want to know how many compressors you have and how many stages your systems have. So if you hit the options button, it'll say 1-1, one, one, and that's for a single stage compressor with a single stage unit. Or you can go 2-1, a two stage compressor with a one compressor. Or 2-2 two, two would be a two stage compressor with two compressors. We don't really have too many of them anymore, but they do give you the option. Most people are 1-1. One, one. Then if you hit the menu button again, your next function would be CFA, continuous fan speed. When you set your thermostat for fan on, you can set the fan speed of your system and the options are 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. That just means that when the unit is satisfied, it will continuously run the fan at either 50%, 25, 75, or 100. The default setting is the first setting, which is 50. I recommend 50. It seems like a nice steady speed, and you don't get any, you know, you don't get much air noise when you when it runs like that. Are there any advantages or disadvantages to running it at either 25, 75, or 100? Well, if you have a lot of duct work, you can run it up to 100 without even uh, noticing the difference. If you had high ceilings and you wanted to stratify air throughout your whole house, sometimes a higher fan speed will save you some money in the long run. But it's all about comfort. And if you notice the, the fan and the equipment being noisy, you want to control it. Not only how efficient it is in your house, but you want to be comfortable. You don't want to be hearing it and be aggravated by the noise. The next option would be CPT, CFM per ton. Now you can regulate the system with options. You can run from 350 per ton up to 430. Some even go higher if you're on the larger units. My option would be either 390 or 400, right in that area. That's what the systems are designed for. 
and that's usually what you design your ductwork for. Now, if you had a system with smaller ductwork and you were worried about air noise, you can ramp it down to 350. You can really optimize the sound and the delivery of your air by all these functions that we offer here with American Standard and Terrain. So by picking one of them, you would pick it in the options and then you would press the menu and you'd get down to heat off delay. Similar to cooling off delay, this allows the system to run so that you would get all the hot air out of your ductwork instead of shutting it off right away and leaving that air in the system. Well, factory default is 100 seconds. That's a, a good uh, setting for that. But you can go up to 140 seconds and that will exhaust all the heat that's left in your ductwork. And the next option you have would be on your menu would be interstage delay if you had a single stage thermostat with a two-stage system which the s9 is it allows you to run it for a certain length of time on first stage before it will jump the second stage if there's still a call for heat in this case some of your options are zero 600 600 would be five minutes three or 900 factory default is 600 so therefore, it'll run five minutes before it jumps to the second stage. Any more than that, you're coming home to your house, you're turning up your thermostat, and you're waiting for it to get warm over too long of a time. And the final option that you will have on your menu is gas heating CFM. What that does is it's measuring the temperature rise over your heat exchanger. Factory default is 103. I feel that you really want some warm air blowing up in your house. I usually increase that to like 113, 123. Especially if you have a lot of duct work, that 123 allows nice warm heat to come up into the house. So after that, you just press the menu button, it will go back to idle, and your furnace is ready to be turned on, turned up, and running correctly. And you can catch all of our Taurus Tech Talk podcast on sgtaurus.com slash podcast. You can also now listen to us on iTunes. Just search Taurus Tech Talk. And if you have any suggestions for tech talk items you'd like to hear, or ones that you may have more questions on, let us know on social media. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, as well as YouTube, and use the hashtag Taurus Tech Talk. We want to thank you for tuning in, and you can catch us every Thursday, and we'll see you next time on Taurus Tech Talk.